Hi, let's talk about the Arrhenius equation and its graph. The Arrhenius equation is powerful. It relates the rate constant K to the activation energy. Now, if you have questions on either of those, I have videos for both on my playlist under rate, so watch those videos. Um, now, I'm going to give you what everything means here, but I'll tell you an honest truth. Um, if you're doing AP chemistry, you're not going to be asked to actually do any calculations. What you have to know is the outflow of this graphically. So let's quickly go over what everything is and then focus on the graph. Um, so the rate constant, that's your K, of course, from just the rate law. A is a frequency factor. It's um, the frequency of collisions between molecules, um, the reactants. The E of A, of course, is going to be your activation energy. Now this, be careful on units. If you do have to do the calculation, it needs to be in joules per mole because R is the gas constant, which is 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. So you need to have joules and joules. Now, if this is in kilojoules, you can totally change that to kilojoules. It'll just be 8.314 times 10 to the minus three kilojoules. That's fine. Just watch your units. They need to be the same. Joule, joule, or kilojoule and kilojoule. And then T here is temperature. Now notice all of that, that quotient is E raised to that power, raised to that quotient. So if you do have to do calculations, that's what everything means and just be um, careful that you put that entire quotient as your exponent. Now, the outflow of this is the graph. The Arrhenius graph looks like this, and it's really neat because it relates that K, the rate constant, to the activation energy. It means knowing rate law, knowing the rate constant, we can calculate, wow, the activation energy. So be really careful on the axes. On our y-axis is natural log of K, the rate constant, over, um, and so your x-axis is one over T, capital T as in temperature, not time. So let's put a reminder. This is going to be temperature, and that is going to be the rate constant, natural log of that rate constant. It is a negative linear slope. And here is the power of this graph. The slope right here is E of A over R, E of A over R. Now notice it's a negative right here, so that um, when you do this slope, it will come out negative. Multiply it by the negative and you will get a positive value. Um, so this right here, pretty cool. Um, I've seen on AP FRQs that students are given this graph and expected to calculate the E of A, the activation energy. In fact, the last um, question that I saw on an AP FRQ, they didn't even have students calculate it. Students just had to write in words how they would calculate it. And they had to specify that the slope is E of A, negative E of A over R, um, and that they'd simply do rise over run, multiply both sides by the gas constant R, and that would give them the activation energy. They didn't have to calculate calculate it, they just had to explain, explain what it was. So remember, this equals your slope. That is going to equal your slope. And your unit on that, it is going to be joules per mole, activation energy joules per mole. Um, and so your R is still that um, 8.314. Just check units that they give you. They might give it to you in kilojoules. If they gave it to you in kilojoules, then the E of A would also be in kilojoules. Okay, nice. So you've learned three graphs, zero order, first order, second order, that you have to memorize for rate laws. This is the fourth graph when you're talking about rate, when you're talking about kinetics, you have to have this memorized. And I'll tell you number one mistake that students make. They confuse it with the first order, which is natural log of concentration of A over time. They get, because they're both natural log, students mix those up, so be so careful. Natural log of concentration over little t time, first order reaction. You've got rate equals K times concentration of A to the first order. Whereas when you have natural log of K, we are relating the rate constant to activation energy. And here, the slope is negative E of A over R. Just have that memorized straight up. And this is um, the X axis one over big T temperature. So demarcate, draw a line in your brain, take two separate file folders, first order reaction, Arrhenius um, equation. Here's your graph for the Arrhenius, K related to activation energy. Here's the graph when you're doing a first order rate law. Don't confuse those two. Number one mistake that students will make.
okay? So I have those four graphs memorized. And if you don't have these graphs memorized, go and watch that video. Have a good day. Thanks so much.